Welcome to the Easy Multi-Save Quick Start Tutorial. In this video, we assume you already have a basic understanding of Unreal Engine. Let's dive in and learn how to save the player character and controller. But first, make sure that the plugin is activated. Open the character blueprint from the Unreal Third Person Project. First, we assign the save and load nodes to simple debug keys. Look up Save Game Actors and Load Game Actors from the plugin. Make sure to check level and player on both nodes, which means that we are going to save player-related actors as well as actors inside the level. We also added two print string nodes to send a message once saving or loading has completed. Next, we add the EMS Actor Save interface so that the actor is considered for saving and loading. That is all for saving the character, its transform and variables. Let's test it in game. We save and load the game by pressing the debug keys. As you see, the character loads its transform automatically. The camera rotation is not automatically loaded yet but we can do this by also saving the controller. A new player controller blueprint was already added, assuming you are familiar with how to do that. Now we just add the actor save interface to the blueprint as we did for the character. Also make sure the game mode is using our custom controller. This can be missed easily. Now it will also save and load the camera rotation automatically. Next up, we are going to save actors placed inside the level. We simply create a new blueprint from the physics cube in the Unreal demo level. Then we add the EMS actor save interface to it as well. Finally, we replace all existing cubes in the level with our blueprint. Let's see how that works in-game. The transform of physical actors is also saved and loaded automatically when the simulated component is the root. In the last part of this tutorial, we save those physical actors spawned at runtime. Here is a simple trigger box that will spawn a bunch of cubes at the location. This function spawns the same physical actor that is also placed inside the level. The runtime actors are automatically respawned and loaded again by the plugin. And now let's see how it looks like when we spawn 2000 instead of just 20 cubes. This tutorial just covers a very small part of what Easy Multi Save is capable of. Any kind of feedback is always greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching and happy developing!